For the first time here on Prince Albert's Grand Ole Opry, we've got us some wonderful entertainers all the way from Modesto, California. Folks, give a great big Prince Albert hello to one of the most popular recording and radio groups in the country, the Maddox Brothers and Rose. <laughs> Rising from the cotton fields of Alabama, they would become one of the greatest musical influences of our time. I remember that Papa was a sharecropper. One year, crops failed and we all went busted. Mama said it was time to leave and get out. She was going to the land of milk and honey where you just reach up and pick gold off trees. Mama had been wanting to go to California all of her life because she had read these dime novels about the Western romances and all of that stuff. Sold everything we had for $35. And we started walking from Alabama to California. There was uh, five kids from, from uh, five years old to 16 years old and mama and papa. It was down around the railroad tracks and there was a man and his wife so they showed us how to ride the rails. And from there on, we had it made in the shade. The Maddox family hit the road in 33. Little did they know that the future held a rose, the blossom of the Maddox family tree. The blossom of the Maddox family tree. It took us as well as I can remember three months. When we got in California, I was looking for these orange groves and stuff, and all it was was desert and sand and sagebrush and not an orange tree in sight. For five years, the Maddox family followed the crops, driving from Northern California to Yuma, Arizona. And we lived in a tent and no running water and an outside toilet and all of us in that one tent. And it got to where everybody would gather around our campsite at night to listen to us pick and sing. One day Fred, that's my brother Fred, he went to a rodeo in Modesto and he saw this band get paid a hundred dollars for playing at a rodeo and that just set him on fire. He said, I'm thinking we should go in up to Modesto and get a sponsor and get a radio show and go into the music business. They thought they needed a girl singer and Rose could sing a little bit, so they took Rose in with them. We started on the radio and uh, we got the listeners. <laughs> I mean, you know, the Maddox Brothers and Rose story is a writer's dream. You couldn't come up with a better subject than that. But we'd show up in town in four big Cadillacs. All of us get out of them cars with them costumes, and, you, and everybody's eyeballs would fall out. Fred's invention of the slap bass style, Rose's unbridled voice, and the brothers' moving and shaking antics set the standard for other performers of the day, including the biggest rock and roll name yet to come. Elvis was an awfully nice person. Grand Ole Opry wouldn't let him in there. So Fred talked him into the guys at the Louisiana Hayride into letting him on there. Go back to those records from the early 50s. They were sort of like the punk rock country music performers of the day. If you listen to the death of rock and roll, that is a crazy record. After nearly two decades inspiring audiences across the country, the family act came to an end. A new chapter began for Rose giving her a fresh start with the country music scene. Dolly Parton said that she used to sit and listen to my recordings by the hours trying to sing just like me. Loretta Lynn used to do the same thing. To me, my life is music. 
I'm, I'm done it all. I'm ready to start over again. Well, I got a gal, she little and low. She used to love me, but she don't no more. I had to step it up and go, yeah, go, step it up and go. Well, you really can't stand past it. I'll try, I got to step it up and go.